let's continue by adding additional slides to the existing slide we have so i am continuing my work from the previous lesson okay. going back to my final work in progress i am done with this next i have this slide too so you move down uh, to the slide thumbnail here the left side you're gonna see your slide to the name two over here this is what is an import device and coming to the main slide you would notice that we have two different placeholders right here this is the first one and then when you click here this is the second one so which means both of these are in separate text boxes also known as placeholders we are going to use this opportunity to start drawing our own text box for a project so the test in it reads what is an input device let me switch to my work in progress click here then this time let me move home one way to add a new slide is to go to the slide group here under home then you move your mouse pointer to new slide you notice the keyboard shortcut control plus m m okay then i have this new slide here so you click and it's going to show you a couple of things you've got here however i want to use title and content for this particular work so title and content is here we have section header we have two content we have comparison title only blank uh, content with caption picture with caption uh, let me use title and content here for now and here is my title and content oh, well let me click inside and drag this you know this node here in the middle here drag it to the down a bit then what is an input device you click to make sure your insertion case is blinking down there and then start typing what is an input device then question sign right here okay this is it and here i have this definition here let me use this opportunity to introduce copy and paste i am going to drag here and then till i get to the last end then go to the clipboard group of the ribbon under the tab here then choose this it's called copy which comes with the keyboard shortcut Control plus c click on it don't click on the drop down arrow click on the command itself click on this clipboard and you notice what we copied is already here now we need to click on it and it's going to paste it down there for us once you are done close this and you have your work out here let's go back to our final project and the same font Calibre body is there the font size is 36 go to the header we have the same Calibre body the font size is 60 let me move back to my work by switching then click inside this or click on the line choose this and come to 60 and right here I have something which looks like um 28 I need to click here and switch it to 36 that is to switch the font size to 36 by going up here to the font group click on this drop down arrow and then switch to 36 and here i've got this out here so what is an input device and this now let me click this and then press the up arrow key 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 to nudge it 10 point all right so enough of that let me still go back to my work and switch to my final work come down here to input devices coming to input devices you'll notice that i have this input device being in a separate placeholder then i also have these uh, bullets in a separate placeholder okay 
and you notice the font size for this is always 60 and we are going to draw test bus of our own now let me switch back to my work in progress and add a new slide another way to add a new slide is to go to the insert tab then from the first group you notice we have slides click on the drop down arrow for slides and you still have the same thing there click on the blank and which means we do not want any placeholder or whatsoever then make our way to the home this time and here go to the drawing group under the home tab we have drawing group click on it then click on this small drop down arrow for the ships and choose this which is uh, recently used ships but if you did not see it there you are definitely going to see it under basic ships here when you move your mouse pointer down a bit click to select it then drag from here this region like so because I have my grid lines active it will show me what to do so here I've got this and I end up drawing and here I'm going to type input devices after typing I need to change my font size by dragging here change the font size by going to the font group then choose 60 and then also come to the capital A small a to change the case that is I want this to start with uh, each word to start with capital letter by going to this capital A small a then choose capitalize each word and we need to bring in another test box we need to draw another test box right here from the drawing tools again make your way to this a click on this test box and drag from this side again this time you can make it very tall right here after that you have to apply a bulletin you by going to the paragraph group then click on this it's called bullets this creates a bulleted list so click on the drop down arrow and we have a couple of bullet options here but then if you don't like all the bullet styles you have right here then click on bullet and numbering haven't clicked on bullet and numbering we have the option to use picture which I'm going to use for now for demonstration purpose so I'm going to click on picture and I will choose from a file and right here I am back to the previous visited window then let's say I want to choose this square over here this mouse I want to choose this mouse here and then click on insert and notice I have this sorry I scroll I made a mistake by scrolling so let me do that again let me go and then pick my test balls and then drag again then let me bullet by going up here coming down to bullet and numbering click then click on picture and then from a file and let me choose this biometric blah 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 click on insert and I have it there very very tiny as you can see then let's say I have mouse then when you press the enter key it to repeat the bulletin and then keyboard like that joystick scanner and so forth and so on as you can see there so that is how to apply your own bulletin list however I want to do copy and paste so let me drag this by selecting and then press the delete key from the keyboard and then press the delete key again to delete that bulletin then I'll make my way to my bullet again and choose this bullet list having done that I need to revisit have this keyboard mouse blah 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 so I'm going to drag by select okay I'm going to click with and drag and then go to the clipboard group under the home tab choose copy again or you can press ctrl c this time around and make your way down to the final sorry to your work in progress click to select it then press ctrl v to paste and we just pasted our work right here but it seems what we paste is not showing that is because the font color is 
white and white cannot display on white okay so i will not change the font color for now because i still need the white to work with all i need to do is to visit the first um, slide by clicking on the thumbnail then move to the design and then choose format background this time come down and click on apply to all this will apply the color to all other slides let me click on this by let me close this by clicking on this x here in the top of the screen then move down here and i even need to change the font color for the uh, for this particular test out here to change the font color you need to go to the home tab then first make sure everything is selected so i'm going to click here then hold down the shift key on the keyboard then click right here because we have two different text boxes and to move to the font group click on this a right here called font color that is it very simple go back to your third slide click here and then click on the line itself this time because it's just a single test box change it to white as well when you are done with this switch to your work in progress let's check the fonts and then the font size so the font size for this is 36 and then the line spacing is always 1.0 here let me switch back to my work go to my last slide here then click on the line here change the font size from 18 to 36 and then i am right here okay all right so this is my input devices let me click on the line here and nudge it up 10 point by pressing the up key one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i am good to go all right let me go now it seems i am done working on this slide because when you get your final work you see this you notice that we are indeed done next let's move to this fourth slide let us go graphical okay so let me switch to my work and then we need to add one slide and here i would go to the new slide here and then choose blank right here which would even come with the background automatically because i clicked on apply to all then here i would go to the home tab and choose new slide and then choose section header from this list then i would choose title slide from this list and here we are going to continue from here in the very next movie